What's up, fam? Welcome back to the channel. This your boy Josh. You watching What the What? So, um, in my last video, I did a little short video or whatever to preview y'all of what I've been having that I ain't told y'all about. And you're probably wondering why did I get this? Of all the things in the world, why did I get this? Well, I had wanted a different caliber pistol. Just out of curiosity, have a different caliber, either a 40 or a 45, but I didn't want to spend a whole bunch of money. So, the best thing to do in that situation when you don't want to spend a whole lot of money is to find something inexpensive and reliable or whatever. I'm not going to use it for nothing too much. It's just be something I'll throw, throw in my car, throw in my room or whatever. So... It is what it is. It's kind of like a, uh, you know how people say they got fuck you money? This is a fuck you gun. I don't know. Shit, I don't know. I just make that up. But anyway, this is the, look at that. It's a monster. It's a straight up monster. This is my, I can't even, I can't even barely see it. So when I go to pick this up at the FFL, is that what, that's how you say it at the gun shop. I had ordered it off Buds. Had it on Layaway for a while. Got it. Went with like $166. Simple as that. Bada bing, bada bang. And the only reason, probably, well, the main reason why I got it, because I just happened to be running across these videos, just watching YouTube videos, and I came across a video of the High Point 40. And I'm like, oh, I've been looking for a 40. Video was, uh, was saying, okay, it's a pretty good gun. Then I watched another one from uh, Demolition Ranch. He beat the shit out the gun and it still shot. So I'm like, well, shit, let's give it a shot. Worst case, pun intended. Worst case scenario, it's only like 166 bucks. So let me clear this bad boy because I know it's loaded. Okay. Point clear. Magazine still loaded though. So anyway. So I said, okay, let, I'll let me try it. Let me try it out. All the reviews were talking about how heavy it is and all this stuff, but it was shooting. Shooting straight, a matter of fact. So I'm like, okay, let's try it out. Let's try it out. So I get it. And here it is, folks. The infamous High Point JCP 40 cal. It's a doozy. It is a doozy. It is humongous. Humongous. I don't know if it's a pistol or a cannon. It's one of the two. It's humongous. And it is heavy. You know when, when you be seeing people talking about how heavy it is? The motherfuckers ain't lying. It's heavy as hell. I let my son hold it. He said, it, said, it just went straight down like he was like he had a, a fish on a lure. I don't know what it is, but it is. And I'm getting tired just by doing this. It's heavy, it's heavy, it's heavy. Now, if you watched the last video when I went out shooting the G2C and the Canon, I said previous, I said in that video that the reason, one of the reasons why the G2C shooting was a little bit off was because I shot a gun before that. King, that was this. And the trigger is trash canish. Okay, it's trash canish. But it works. It works. The slide is big and bulky. I don't know what kind of finish it is. It feel like it's been plastic dipped. I don't know. I don't know. But it shoots and it's inexpensive. It's got this rail on here. This rail is a thousand percent worthless. You can't even put nothing on it. They say the only light that will go on it is the one that they sell, but I even see it on the website. So I don't know. I don't know what that's gonna be for. It's it's worthless. Some people have made other ones fit, but I haven't been able to. So this right here, this is gonna be your safety. And they say that if you uh, carry one of these with one in the chamber, you always want to have this on safety because there's a chance that that bitch gonna go bang when you don't want it to go bang, and that's not gonna be good or conducive. To your 2A rights. I assure you that. This uh the grip, 
I had to put some tennis racket uh, stripes on it just to make it not feel like it was loaded down with Vaseline. It's slick as shit, the grip. You got Phillips screws in it. You know, I don't know if this gun must be must have been made in 1973 with Phillips screws. So I put the tennis racket grip on there to make it a little better. It's a little better, and it adds a little flavor. <laughs> it adds a little flavor. Other than that, though, it does shoot straight. It's just so heavy. You got the fake. You got the serrations right here, but nobody. You ain't gonna be able to just pull it back with these serrations. If you do, you're gonna cut your hand up because they deep. They deep serrations. If you do that too many times, you're gonna fuck your hand up. So, I grab it on these because this just don't feel well. But I say again, it shoots. It shoots. Now, if you're thinking about getting one of these, you're going to have some issues. And later on, I figured out what the issue was and I fixed it based on the intranets. So, these magazines that it come with, it's just a little, mm -mm, it's just a little 10 round magazine. I, I do 10 and 1. It's a 10 round magazine, and it's my understanding that these ain't that they just had some magazines sitting on the shelf and they made them work with this particular gun. I don't know, but they are garbage. Garbage. They are so garbage because what happens is the back of the bullet keeps kicks up when you uh, chamber around, and the front goes down like that. So now the bullet gets stuck on the ramp. I think that's what it's called. So you're going to get misfeeds after misfeeds after misfeeds after misfeeds. It just ain't going to be reliable. But there's a fix to it. What you have to do is, you see them little lips up there, right there? The problem is, they be coming in too far. So you have to bend them out a little bit. And they be holding the front ends. But if you bend, bend them out, they don't hold the front end as much. And they'll slide right on up the ramp. So if you think thinking about getting one, you, you may as well do that right off the bat. And you don't even have to be at the range to test it if to see if that works. Because you won't even be able to, to, to rack bullets. It won't even rack bullets until you do that. It won't be consistent. It's, it's a horrible mess. So if you were to get one of these guns... And it does that, you're gonna automatically think it's a hot piece of shit. Whereas it's probably just this magazine that needs to be fixed. So that's how I fix that. Now I haven't been out to the range since I've done that, but I've been racking it, you know, ejecting them, racking them, you know, clearing them, clearing them, clearing them. And it's been consistently feeding them out the side. So for right now, we are going to say that it's fixed and in a few minutes i'm going to show y'all a little bit of video of me shooting this high point i think i put i put a whole box of rounds through it at the range i think i put 50 50 rounds through it just to see it and eventually you know it started working fine so i didn't think that was you know i thought maybe it was just just either the the bullets or maybe it was uh um, it just needs to be broke in. It's probably all of the above. All of the above. But this is the number one problem. But um, it's a blowback design. I don't even know what that means. I just heard everybody just say it. But this slide, look how thick this slide is. It, it's like that thick. It's like three inches thick. I don't know. This is just a tank. This is like something that you... You want to mount up in front of your truck and get a stream, number one, for safety measures. Because you don't know what this thing going to do. And number two, it's just so big. You put one on either side, and you just driving in the apocalypse. It just boom, boom, just pulling on the stream, just busting. Boom, boom, boom. That's what I could see this for. Because if you're sitting up here trying to hold this bad boy like this and shoot, you're going to lose all strength in this arm. Or if you right-handed in this one, you because it's heavy, it's heavy. Let me give you an idea of how heavy it is. Where is my scale? I got a scale. I'm gonna give you an idea of how heavy it is. Let's turn this scale on. I don't know if you can see that. 
We're gonna turn it around so you can see it. This is without the magazine. Two point ninety nine pounds. Can y'all see that? Two point nine nine pounds. Put the magazine in it, and you go up to a full three point three pounds. That is how heavy that bad boy is. It's a tank, folks. It's a tank. It's a tickety tank. Now the release button, the release button is pretty cool. The safety, you know, it's suspect, but uh, you know, Reggie dead, Reggie dead. That ain't never changed. You got the slide release to release that slide. You can lock the slide back by doing that. It don't even go all the way. I think it's supposed to go up in there, but it don't. Now, once you empty around, you're not gonna be able to. The slide, the slide will stay back, and you won't be able to um, to do anything until you put another magazine in it that's full, and that's how that works. This trigger, like I was saying, I don't know. I just, I know ain't nothing in it, but I don't even feel safe playing with it like that. So uh, let's turn this back. Y'all done seen enough of that. But anyway. So that's my high point for the cam. I don't know why, but I do like it. You know, I ain't gonna do nothing with it. I probably won't tell anybody. The funny thing is, boy, I, t I did I already say this or not? Why wouldn't you go pick it up? I told the, uh, the person at the counter, I was like, cause I ordered this off Buds. So I was like, um, I was coming in to pick up a gun. He said, what you get? I said, I might just, I said, it's a high point. But I don't want nobody to know. He just busted out laughing. He understood exactly what I was saying. Because it, it was packed too. And I didn't want to see, ooh, he got a high point, Paul thing. That's all you could get. No, this is what I wanted. Wasn't necessarily all I could get. But I just wanted a 40. Just a blink, 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 blink. I don't know why. I like the size of the rounds too. Look how uh, tremendous those rounds are. That just look like it just eats some meat up. It'll just eat it up. But anyway, this is my quick little overlook of the High Point 40, JCP 40 that I picked up. And I'm gonna show y'all some footage and we're gonna be out of this video. So my neighbor was over there letting freedom ring, clearly. I'm trying to figure out how to even hold the thing at this point. I mean, the kick wasn't too bad neither. See, that's where that bullet got stickity stuck. Stickity, 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 stickity stuck, baby. I'm already shaking my head like, what the fuck have I done? So we got that fixed. Racked another one. I thought I racked another one. Got picked that up. The bullet's still high. Bullet's still 32 cents. Okay, that one worked. Look, got jammed again. I'm like, come on now, I just got it. How can I get my... At this point, I was already thinking about how I'm gonna sell it. I only put like five rounds in it. And I couldn't even get through in. Now let's see what this shot looked like with them five rounds. So this was about seven yards out. As you can see, I mean, that's a pretty good group. Once I finally got it to shoot. Now I got some more footage and uh, target photos. But this video getting long as hell. And most of y'all going to skip through it anyway. So we'll say that for another video. This your boy. What the word? Like, comment, and subscribe. And come back for the rest of the video of The High Point Part 2 at the range. Mm -hmm.